Have you ever eaten this? Or those? Have you drunk that? You have? Good. Well, these creations are all from one man, William A. Mitchell, an all-American food chemist. A junk food wizard as such, and his road to sugar glory would change the world's sweet tooth forever. Bill Mitchell started working at General Foods in 1939. His job was to create new foods for the world to sink their teeth into. And who would be best to talk about such an inventor than an old colleague, Marv Rudolph. They worked together for six years in the same lab. Bill was the inventor at General Foods. If you looked up inventor in the dictionary, there was probably a picture of Bill Mitchell next to the word. He knew what amplified mm -hmm. flavors, he knew what colors to use to make something more attractive. Hmm. If you had a problem, he was the guy to go to. Management tried to promote Bill many times, and he said, no, just keep me in my lab. It's all I want to do. Bill had a superhero beginning, just like the Hulk or Dr. Manhattan, after his lab exploded and he survived. He was eating a beaker of alcohol, and the beaker had a crack. It just exploded. They said that he had burns over 80% of his body, and he was in terrible pain. He managed to come back from that explosion, that accident, and start a career that was exemplary. The time is 1956. Mitchell was hard at work trying to carbonate Kool-Aid, a popular powdered soft drink. So he said, why can't I add carbon dioxide molecules to sugar? That was a great leap forward. And thus, Pop Rocks were born, the infamous popping candy. You, you might have heard the few urban legends. legends. Pop Rocks and cola together will make your stomach explode. No way, it wasn't true, absolutely not. But the rumor would never die. And people would call up to General Foods and they'd say, are you the company that killed that dear little boy? Soon after, Mitchell was on a roll. He created a powder when mixed together with water would create a bright orange liquid. And it was 94% sugar, but it had vitamin C. He invented Tang. He invented the orange flavoring system, which was much more intense than just a typical orange flavor. And fun fact, Tang even made its way to space, first aboard John Glenn's Mercury flight in 1962. It was used to make the spacecraft's water supply stop tasting so much like metal. Now it's 1967. Earlier in the year, Mitchell had patented a faster setting jello. Quick set jello was a very useful invention because you didn't have to wait for the jello to set, which took hours, and you cut the time in half. But why stop there? Only a few months later, he was hard at work. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is Mitchell's finest invention. Cool Whip. Oh yeah, Cool Whip was the first freeze-thaw stable non-dairy whipped cream. You can whip cream, but you freeze it and it's going to separate. That was a huge product, a huge success for General Foods. William A. Mitchell was granted 44 patents in 35 years. An incredible feat. But like any inventor, some did work and some didn't. One of them that didn't make it was dry alcohol. He would take wet alcohol and mix it with this fluffy maltodextrin and it would stay dry. There are problems with that, but it does work. The funny thing about that was General Foods was a completely non-alcoholic company. You couldn't even bring a bottle of beer into General Foods. It was forbidden. Management said, what the heck, Bill, what are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. eh, it's a shame. I kind of like the sound of that one. So a toast of Tang and Pop Rocks on the side to William A. Mitchell, the greatest junk food chemist that ever lived.